Who am I speaking with? Hey, I'm Tom Emmerich from App Promo. We're a PR and marketing firm based in Toronto, and we work with developers and app owners on increasing app success. Loved your presentation. You jammed through a ton of content, but most importantly, what I thought was interesting is you just kept hammering, you got to work on your product page in the App Store. Walk me through what an app developer can do for their product page. Sure. Uh, the reason why we hammered on the product page is because it's the one place, no matter what marketing strategies you employ, that your user will get back to to download your application. And so what we're finding with developers is that for the product page, it becomes a checklist item that they get you know, frustrated and they're just rushing through to get their app up to market and distributed through the Android market. And so what we're trying to do is get the developers and the small business app owners to think about this product page as a selling opportunity or marketing opportunity rather than just a checklist item for distribution. And so when it comes to your product page, you really got to think about it as your branding or your representation within the store, the Android market store. And there's a couple of elements or areas that you need to focus on to make sure that you're optimizing that product page to convert to download. All right, so let's walk through it. Uh, step one, what do I need to do? Step one, you need to really focus on your icon and then your name. For your icon, you got to make a graphic. You're going to keep it simple. You're going to look to your competitors to see what their graphics or their colors are and either stand out from them or follow suit to make sure that you're following the same sentiment that your target audience will look for. And then you're going to look to your name. Also look to your competitors and make sure that name makes sense. If you have an existing brand, I would incorporate that brand name because of the brand equity you've created into that name. Otherwise, you want a name that's going to be simple to the point and that's going to um, reminisce about what that app is all about. Then you're going to move into your product description and from your product description you're really going to want to focus on the first 170 to 400 characters and the reason is because this is the top portion in the app product page that your audience will see or it will be also for the 170 characters the snippet that the audience will see in the search results. So you're going to want to focus there on driving home what this app is about, what the user benefit is, moving into reiterating your pricing model so that you set the expectation to the user, and then following into the features, functionalities, and everything that sets your app apart from the rest. Your product description really focus on including keywords because it will help with the search within the store. And then, of course, you can also include a video or other promotional graphics which Android Market allows you to have. Additionally, outside of the icon and the name and the product description, you're going to want to focus on their reviews and ratings within the App Store. These are not just places where you're going to get customer feedback. They're also areas which will allow you to stand out from the rest of the pack. Because if you have an app and your competitor has an app and that competitor is rated five stars and you have no stars, most likely that app is going to be clicked on. So you're going to want to elicit reviews and ratings from your users, whether it be in your app, through house ads, or through areas that you've actually developed within the application to get those or outside your app through your social networks or PR or your databases, etc. And then the very last tip, I like the fact that you said come back and revisit your product description right. page, especially about bringing those reviews into the description. Right. So this is not just a one-time thing. You don't just set and forget your product description or your product page. If you have feature updates, if you have um, new functionality, make sure you infuse those into your product uh, description and your screenshots and video. But more importantly, if you have a promotion, a, a a price reduction, or if you're starting to see testimonials that are being buried amongst the rest of the testimonials, lift those up and highlight those within the app product description. That's going to help to sell your app even further. So revisit your app description on a regular basis. It's really easy to change. It's real time, and it'll just take a few minutes, and it will make a huge difference with app conversion. Tom, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.